Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will give you a very quick tutorial on conditional formatting. That is, color the cells based on the value they contain. For example, here are the scores of students in the class. If you want to know all the scores which are below 35, you can just put 35 here and this will show you all the scores which are 35 and below. Similarly, let's say if you want to find out scores which are above 85 and this will show you all the scores which are above 85. Let's see how to do this. Here are the scores of the students. If you want to find out all the scores, let's say below 35 or 30, how would you do that? This can easily be done by conditional formatting. To do this, you need to select all the scores that is from cell C7 to cell I31 and then you need to go to conditional formatting. Here you will have multiple options. You can just select highlight cell rules and let's say we want to do less than. Cell value is you know less than or equal to 35. And this will show you all the data which is 35 or lower. If you want to add another conditional formatting of the greater values, you can again do highlight cell rules greater than let's say we choose 85 and here we choose a different format and this will give you all the scores which are above 85. Now if you want to make this dynamic that is to be able to have a user input to decide what is the limit which will color it red and green respectively you can also achieve that. To do that first let's clear all the conditional formatting here so you can just go here conditional formatting clear and clear rules from selected cells. Let's start with a low limit and a high limit. Now I'm going to start with 35 and 85. To be able to keep this dynamic, you need to do the conditional formatting on the cells based on a formula. That can be done by using conditional formatting and you need to manage rules. We add a rule and go to the classic. Here there are multiple options where you can say if the value is between such and such range but that will keep it fixed. So we can use a formula here and you can use is equal to select the first cell again ensure that you remove the dollar symbol because you need to have the each cell C7, D7, C8, D8 to be dependent on its own value. Should be less than let's go with the low limit which is 35 and say ok you can add another rule again go to the classic use a formula and here we can use a formula again you use C7 remove the dollar symbols greater than the high limit you need to ensure that the high limit maintains the dollar symbol because it's this is going to be the same for all the cells from C7 to I31. And here we can change the format to the green. Say OK. There you go. All the data is colored based on our limit which are chosen. If you want to change the limit to let's say 55 everything will be immediately colored based on what is chosen and let's say if you do 25 there are no marks basically below 25 in this data you can also change the high range let's say we want to go to 90 so anything above 90 is now colored this is a very quick way to visualize what data you have on hand i hope that this tutorial was of use to you if you like the video please subscribe to my channel till next time ciao